Welcome to Monday Night Raw. It's uncut. It's uncooked. And it's uncensored. The work week may have just started, but you've got three hours of epic action to make this day just a little bit. We have a great match coming up next. Oh, we are going anywhere. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock. Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict a Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the same. Oh, boy. Baron Corbin loves to hit people. Before entering sports entertainment, Corbin played professional football and was a boxer. Known as the Lone Wolf, Corbin then set his sights on NXT. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to get back in it, guys. Oh, oh my God! What oh. a German suplex! Unreal! Baron Corbin made waves as soon as he set foot in NXT, and that's exactly what the Lone Wolf wanted. Corbin assaulted superstars like Ty Dillinger, Neville, Kalisto, Fiend Balor, and Samoa Joe. Corbin drew names like Cesaro and The Big Show when he became the third winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 32. Corbin then set his coordinates for the main roster and looked to destroy superstars like Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Apollo Crews, and a familiar foe, Kalisto. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Slam down hard. High risk. Brock Lesnar is going high risk. Look at this. Boom, impact. Now it's Baron Corbin looking a little uneasy. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. concerned about him right now. Oh, this might be the end of Corbin.
shoulders on the mat. And he got a near fall out of it. We know Baron Corbin is tough, but I do not know how he is staying alive in this one. He knows he's in trouble. Uh-oh. Ratting down the hatches with the F5. Bang! That's what he was looking for, Michael. I don't know if Corbin can recover. I hate to agree. The cover. And this one's history. What a win.